So the Ford EcoSport was one of the first SUV compact SUVs to come into India and start the compact SUV craze. And well, Ford has now come out with the BS6 variant because well, again BS6 is upon us and they have to comply to all the rules. So let's check out what's different in this car this time. So the Ford EcoSport in its BS6 Avatar hasn't changed much. You still get these really nice uh, projector headlamps. Your indicators and fog lamps are down here. Body cleaning all around so that you don't hit your car when going through uh, ditches and doing off-roading. You still have this really nice front grille with the hexagonal design in the middle. Now coming to the side, you have these really nice anthracite grey wheels. Uh, they're 16 inches but you can get them in 17 inches. Uh, you have a blacked out roof with these roof rails but they don't do anything um, body cleaning again uh, coming to the back you again have a lot of body cleaning and you have the signature ecosport wheel at the back and this time the ecosport uh, doesn't get a door handle for its uh, boot opening instead you get a button inside which you just press and pull like that you have a 352 liter boot space at the back and you can fit almost anything so this is a perfect car for a goa road so the eco sports interior has to be one of the best parts about the car it is a top tank slam over all of its other competitors and I feel that this has to be one of the best interiors you can buy in the segment. Let's start off with the copper inlays, they're all around the car. You have them everywhere from the dashboard to the gearbox and it's also the stitching on the steering wheel is copper. The whole interior feels really premium and you have decent materials all around. But with it comes its drawbacks too. Uh, the cup holders around the car are practically useless. The one which is over here doesn't fit this bottle, which is a medium sized bottle, I would say. Doesn't fit it. The one on the door card doesn't fit it. You have to basically put it in sideways like this and then it fits. Even the cutout made over here for the key, the key does not fit in the cutout. So it's practically useless again. But all in all, the whole car has been laid out really well. There is only a s one, there's only one blank button in this car, which is over here underneath the traction control button. And apart from that, there is not a single blank button in this car. So this is the view you get when you're driving the EcoSport. And I have to say, it's not a bad place to be in. This is your infotainment screen and they've gone for like this levitating kind of vibe with it. And I have to say, they've pulled it off. When you start up the car, the infotainment system is quite laggy, but once it gets going, it's a really smooth experience. You have everything from Apple CarPlay to Android Auto, so you know both of the users are happy with their car. And you also have a few different choices in terms of ambient lighting in the settings, seven colors to be exact. The screen itself can be changed to two different types of colors, white and blue, black and blue. So during the day, white is good and black is good at night. The instrument cluster. Well, the instrument cluster is pretty basic, but you have this cool little digital screen in between and you have like cool little graphics and functions to like know about your trip, your economy, your running, your speed and a lot of different stuff. Apart from that, one thing that I really find annoying in the instrument cluster are the light blue tags. I would like them to be maybe a different color or at least configurable so that it matches the color of the car. The EcoSport also gets a sunroof in the top Titanium S model. The new BS6 EcoSport starts from 8.04 lakhs X showroom and each model has gotten roughly a 30,000 rupee price hike after the BS6 application. So the EcoSport in BS6 form 
If you opt for the diesel variant, you get a 1.5 liter four cylinder turbo diesel. It used to make 100 horsepower and 205 newton meters of torque. But after the emission norms and all of the other wizardry that Ford had to do, the engine might produce a little bit of less horsepower, but again, you get better fuel efficiency and also you're saving polar bears. This engine is quite throaty, quite responsive, I would say. Obviously, it's not a sports car, so you shouldn't expect insane amount of performance from it. But it's mated to a five-speed manual gearbox. So even if you want to do like an ECU remap or a few modifications here and there, I'm pretty sure this engine can take it. Ford is saying that they are going to come out with an automatic transmission for this car. But that's just still a rumor. Some things that I really like about this car is the ride. Uh, even on this really really bumpy road, it's soaking up the bumps really beautifully. Although I would say that this suspension is a little bit on the stiffer side compared to its competitors. Uh, but that's a really good gain because on highways the car is really stable and you can basically take the corners without hesitating a lot. Fuel efficiency also isn't too bad in this car. In city I was averaging about uh, somewhere anywhere between uh, 12 to 15 kmpl and for such a big car uh, It's not that bad uh, Obviously, it's not an economic car like for example like a Alto or like a Sandro or something But not bad for such a big car 15 kmpl I can live with that So the conclusion to this video is that maybe you should give the Ford EcoSport a chance because Ford have come out with a really really strong product with good features, good looks and good capability. Whereas everyone is really busy with the Koreans showing off their fancy electronics and looks, Ford has come out with a strong product and maybe you should give them a chance once. Thank you for watching this video. Please check out Talera Ford. They have one of the coolest dealerships around and they are one of the most prestigious dealerships in India and if you're looking to buy a Ford car in Pune, please Go to Tarera Ford because they have the most amazing staff and services in the city.